<clears throat> How's it going, guys? Donnie coming to you from Massage Japan, Pinkle Star Garage. Unless you search very hard, you're not going to find too much RB26 in A sounds. Reason why? Because everybody likes RB26 DTT Twin Turbo. <laughs> All right, so what I have behind me is one of my RB26s. It's actually my first RB26 um, that I built back and originally back in 2011, 2012. Um, broke it in 2015. It's set until like about uh, li like something like last year or something like that. It's set for a while. Um, cylinder number six broke. Um, as normal as you guys know out there, cylinder number six and five gets uh, starved on air and things like that. Gets a little bit heated up and the stock cast piston will break. All right, so this one actually is uh, going to be for sale. I'm going to be selling it. I got a few RB26s, uh, you know, on my shelf, so I'm not like without RB26, but I want to move to something else, something a little bit more modern. I just rebuilt it. It doesn't have any miles when it has hours. It literally has about roughly, I think about maybe two and a half, three hours of runtime on it. And it's kind of cool. I'm going to dyno it uh, uh, NA, and then if you subscribe or whatever and come back for the next video, I'll do another video with the turbos on. So the reason why it's an NA configuration is because the um, turbos, one of the turbos went bad. There actually was a GCG, tur GCG turbo. Um, maybe it was balanced wrong, but it went bad. So I pulled those off. I'm gonna be putting uh, pretty fresh RB26, R33 turbos on there, and I'm gonna be selling it. So uh, CP pistons, uh, 90 and a half to one ratio. They're 86.5 86 millimeter. Uh, we got uh, Manly H, uh, H beam rods, Kelford valve springs. We got Mojo Performance LS1 coal pack kit. And pretty much everything else on it is standard, other than uh, your stuff that is highlighted, uh, ACL bearings, things like that. Full list, full gamut of everything will be listed out, and everything will go from there. Oh. So again, it goes without saying, NA and twin, NA and turbo tuning is different. Um, I tuned this for turbo. Didn't really get a chance to put it on a dyno because the turbo blew before I can actually get it on a dyno just out in the street. All right, so it is set up primarily for turbo. The piston compression ratio things are set up different kind of a different way for NA. So a couple things to highlight, as you can see from the intake, the intake is essentially the intercooler. The intercooler is going all the way around, and we got the intake right here. Um, so it sucks pretty hard. Uh, it's getting a ton of air from the fan, and it's up off the engine bay, so it's be irregular uh, for a pretty good uh, air air intake, getting some cool, cool to warm air. And uh, yeah, we, let's see what it does, man. It's gonna sound. I don't know what it's going to sound like. I never actually had, I never actually done anything with an NARB26 before. Never. I never even tried to start one up before uh, because in the past I had a Power FC and I had uh, the MAV, so you couldn't really do it like that. So essentially, the, the way this is running, I'm using the Haltech Platinum, uh, Platinum Pro uh, and I have the MAP sensor on board and everything, so it allows it to run that. So seeing the pressure from the intake manifold, which allows you to do anything you want. So again, um, Haltech is one of the ECUs that I really push. As you can see, the banner on my wall right there. Um, Haltech is a, I'm a dealer for Haltech. And um, I really I push them because they got custom, cu good customer service. They've always done me proper. Um, so whatever you heard out there about Haltech, I, ain't he I haven't heard or dealt with that. I've only had good things happen as a result of using Haltech. So let's uh, see what it does. Let's see how much power it makes. Let's see how it sounds.
video doesn't do any justice of how loud it is. Very loud, made my ears hurt. Definitely, um, one thing I got to get for this dino is some earmuffs, man. Getting older, 40 years old, and uh, <laughs> the hearing is definitely going out a little bit. Um, so it only put out uh, 173 horsepower. Again, I didn't change any of the settings from turbo. It's kind of weird. You can see the mat where it would be looking for the turbos to come in, and they're not there. So it's very like, it's it's crazy. It, it doesn't operate like that when the turbo is on there but it's crazy like i mean when you you're tuning you're tuning for boost boost by gear and things like that man so it changes the dynamics completely so again i didn't alter a single setting uh on turbo of course it would make like 480 500 horsepower uh but you know it's na so i mean the turbo is a gun and that's just this wall how it works the wall how it works one thing is crazy to see is the fire coming out of the uh the manifolds and before anybody goes crazy saying i'm going to melt stuff uh, my my car here, literally everything is metal under there, and um, also I did have what you couldn't really see by the video. It actually probably fell off, but I had a um, I had like a little um, a black uh, blanket covering the uh, the the steering shaft and stuff like that. So what a, the uh, the steering rack, um, and also the steering rack is actually uh, broken. So whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, the fire wasn't hurting anything, so calm down. Uh, but a cool, I mean, it was a cool spectacle. Um, again, I never, um, never dealt, any, I never done anything personally with, a, with an NARB 26. After hearing this and then hearing how preppy it was with the uh, turbo settings, I definitely want to build one. I want to build an all motor NARB 26. Um, you know, a lot, I got, I got about well, two more with that sitting in the corner. Uh, so I definitely can do it. Um, it'll be cool to see, man, make about 380, you know, if, you know, if you could push it up there with higher compression, get 400 horsepower, that would be a crazy RB26. And again, the, um, the, uh, the, what is it? The response was pretty cool. Um, even with the, again, no turbo style, I feel it would be laggy. On a, on a dyno, uh, once I put it in the fourth gear and did that fourth gear dig, as you guys know, when you do a dyno, most people put in the fourth gear. Um, that's the best gear uh, to pull it out. First and second are too short, and then fifth is too long. So fourth, when you see dyno pulls, it's always done in fourth. So when I let it go all the way down, and then I hit it, it you can feel, you can, you can, you can kind of feel, you can hear it. it was like, Arr. there was like no turbo there to spool it up. So again, hold this dynamic. Uh, again, pistons play a factor. Uh, the clearance and the clearance between the uh, head and the block uh, with the head gasket plays a factor in the compression. Uh, the, the the shape of the piston plays a, a, a factor. The camshaft plays a fa camshafts play a factor and things like that. So um, yeah, it's cool to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll be I'll, I haven't been un honestly utilizing the dyno outside of just like uh, business, but I will get some wild and wacky stuff on here to take advantage of it and see what power make power things make. So if you guys got any ideas out there, to shoot them to me. I'll uh, make it happen, and um, you know, try to grow this channel in a in a in a real kind of way. I'm not I'm not after getting you know everybody will like a million subs stuff like that, but that's not my goal because um, you know the people that follow my channel and, 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 and do all that stuff, you know, I don't get a lot of views, click per uh, uh, click per minutes and stuff like that. Um, I do make a good amount of sales, so hope you guys enjoy. It's gonna be Dan Sign off from the South Japan Pink Style Garage. See you guys later. Peace.